What is the meaning of education? It simply means a knowledge of letters. It is merely an instrument, and an instrument may be well used or abused. The same instrument that may be used to cure a patient may be used to take his life, and so may a knowledge of letters. The ordinary meaning of education is a knowledge of letters. To teach boys reading, writing, and arithmetic is called primary education. The institute is the first and only Category One institute in the Asia Pacific region. It focuses on education with the thematic areas of peace and sustainable development. It's supported very generously by the government of India. Uh, and this, that support goes just way beyond just the financial support, but we also get very strong intellectual support from the Ministry of Human Resources and Development back in Delhi. Now the mandate, uh, if you look at the name, it's Mahatma Gandhi, so it's driven by his ideology. The focus is on education and it's on peace and sustainable development. But rather than just focusing on what we would traditionally look at Gandhi's teachings and, and what he stood for, what we have taken on is a very different and radical approach. What we try to do is try to, what we say, fire the Gandhi neurons within the three pound mass that we carry between our ears. You can always pretend, you can always project yourself to be somebody who you are not when you interact with others but you can't pretend to yourself. Uh, and that's a feeling at least I got when I started uh, uh, working on, uh, on, on any subject uh, related to Gandhi. As African, I'm proud to be here because uh, Gandhi lived in Africa and I understand that he developed his own philosophy uh, living there and witnessing the poverty, the violence, and the misery of the African people. So most of the African, African people are very proud of having had Mahatma Gandhi living in this uh, continent. Is that before we talk about quality, or before we talk about inclusiveness and equity, don't we need to talk about what is the goal of education? What are we aspiring for? The goal uh, affirms the importance of long life learning. And now we know that this is a, a reality. And none of us can leave university and consider that this is it. Uh, everybody's gonna have to learn uh, until the end uh, of their careers. This is something we got right. Of course, equity and gender equality, they're in this uh, uh, goal. This is something we've got right to, and this is something that we are all uh, working for. Um, sustainability, this is also something we got right. And in UNESCO, we uh, are working in this direction with uh, the Education for Sustainable Development and Global Citizenship. Let us take higher education. I have learned geography, astronomy, algebra, geometry, etc. What of that? In what way have I benefited myself or those around me? Why have I learned these things? Professor Thomas Henry Huxley has thus defined education. That man, I think, has had a liberal education who has been so trained in youth that his body is the ready servant of his will and does with ease and pleasure all the work that has a mechanism it is capable of. If we think of our educational system and if we think about the environment, the, and where I was just saying that, I mean, the environment is changing at a pace that is unprecedented. Like it goes, it's changing very fast. Like it, Technology is going in, uh, intelligence, artificial intelligence, sports, and so on. And what well, we do know that if we think about what are the best predictor of, like your ability to 
being like a human being adapted to his environment, it's not necessarily literacy or numeracy. It's all the kind of skills and what we call like higher order competencies or higher order cognitive processes, such as executive functions. So executive functions are all these meta competencies that allows you to drive all the other cognitive and social emotional processes that you need in your brain. When I see the discussion of the panelists and the hologram of Gandhi talking about the various points, so I would uh, quote some points. Gandhi says that we must let our children to fail. It gives a strength to fight with the real life. Real life is not so easy. So there are various points. I learned it today and I really, really thankful to the Embassy of India and UNESCO for organizing on 150th anniversary of Gandhi. Thank you so much. Uh, the event was extremely nice because uh, the educators who were on the dais, they explain about not only the future, but to collect what is right now going on with the education system. And in between the tits and bits of Gandhi ji has explained, since Still, uh, before the 80 years, the, the thoughts are, right now it is um, uh, giving the valid reason to work on the education. And the last thing which I remember is we should go for the creativity and the thing rather than going uh, with the stressful lesson. This is what the orator says, that we should not wait for the debate and to uh, unlink the process, we should go with the event, with the, with the flow.